Hi, this is Hershey Pro with the Dr. Vax channel. And today, we're going to learn something very interesting together. We're going to learn about 3D printer magic numbers. Specifically, in the profiles I've published for the MP10, I had a mistake. I did not properly optimize the layer heights. I've reached out to Malyan, M-A-L-Y-A-N, the company in China that makes the Monoprice MP10. They sent me the specs for the Z-axis screw and the stepper motor, and we're going to calculate the optimal layer heights together. Stay tuned, and let's learn something together. In our particular case, each rotation of our Z-axis stepper motor is four millimeters. Our stepper motor has 200 steps per rotation. So if we take four millimeters and we divide it by 200, we end up with a magic number of 0 0.02 millimeters. Therefore, if we keep the heights of our layers as a multiple of 0 0.02, we will optimize the layer height for the natural positions of the stepper motors. Now that we've calculated our magic numbers, we have to think about how to use them appropriately. Many people already recognize that your layer heights should be a multiple of your natural number. Now, since our magic number, the natural multiple for our layer heights, a full step is 0 0.02, it means we can use any even numbers. Many printers of this class have a magic number of 0 0.04. So instead of using a layer height of 0.15, you should use a layer height of 0.16. Instead of 0.19, you should use a layer height of 0.20. But in addition to layer height, it is important to note that anytime you move your Z axis, you should do it a full step if possible. Therefore, if you're setting Z hop, Z hop is where your printer is going to move the print head and you don't want to collide with another part of the model. So it's not extruding filament, so you move the print head up, you hop up, you move it, and you put it back down. The default for this is one millimeter. That's a fairly large move, and it takes time. Therefore, if you want to move it a little less, you can move it a multiple of the magic number. As an example, 0.4, not 0.5. Well, folks, I hope this was useful to you. And a lot of this information occurred because of our community, our community of viewers of the Dr. Vax videos that leave comments. I want to give a shout out to David Granz, G-R-A-N-Z. David, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. He really pushed me on this issue. And I reached out to the manufacturer, Maoyan in China. They are very responsive. They got back to me the next day. I was able to provide this information to the community. So thanks for mu so much for watching. Please continue to watch the range of Dr. Vax videos. The subject areas will be all of the things that involve technology that our children learn in school or in maker labs or in STEM that we as adults can use to enrich our lives, to develop new hobbies, to have engaged leisure, leisure activities. Thanks so much. Please give me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share it. Have a great day and let's learn something new together.